Hey guys, so Izzy and I are on our way to drop off some books at free little libraries. Most of them are children's books and I really like to redistribute those, especially ones that like what I have that are in, you know, really good condition. I like to redistribute those and, and get those into the hands of other kiddos. And we're gonna take you along with us. Ignore my hair, I just got out of work. So I typically like to hit up these free little libraries after the weekend's over because that's when a lot of people will uh, grab from them, especially the certain locations of some of them. So that's kind of how I choose to do it. What I have are um, just a lot of like different Scott Forsman, some Scholastic, just educational books for kids. Um, a lot of like beginner reader books, stuff like that. So we're going to be putting as many of these as we can fit right here. Cause I'm actually really excited. Everything fit in really well. All right, you guys, that's it for this video. I just wanted to show you how little free libraries work. I'll probably put a link in the description so you can figure out where to find ones in your local area. A lot of the service clubs in my area set them up. Um, around here, it's Rotary and Kiwanis, Boys and Girls Club, things like that. Some charities may even have some set up throughout your area. So just do a little research, figure out where you can bless somebody. Uh, keep literacy alive, keep books out of landfills. Sometimes I will put CDs and DVDs and video games that really aren't worth reselling that I get in my free book pickups because I also accept media. So people sometimes give me a little bit of everything. Um, so sometimes I will throw those in there as well. I just think it's a really good way to offer free support to your community and gotta do it for the kiddos, right Is Right. All right, so that's all, Meaty Mail Gang. I will see you in the next video. Peace out. Hey guys, it's Katie with Katie Reads. Day two of dropping off books to the little free libraries in my area. I don't know how many days this is going to end up being. Maybe a couple. I don't know. We'll see. But this is day two, and it's raining, so I'm going to do this very quickly. So here are some of the books I'm going to be putting in the little free library. I received these from a daycare, so a lot of copies of the same book, but that is good because then if a couple kiddos want the same book, they can grab the same book. So I'm going to be putting these into, gonna be going into this little free library and it needs a little love. Looks like it's a little, looks like a lot of adult books so kiddo books need some love so we're gonna throw some kiddo books in here okay guys so here we have um the top part which i made mostly the adult fiction and then here we have all the um kids books so i think that looks a lot better a lot cleaner and we'll go on to the next one all right guys here's the next one this one is just at a counseling office um, so just someone, someone in the community decided to put this one together. So we're going to fill this one up too. Final product. Looks pretty good. Nice and full. Almost all children's books, which is fitting for this counseling office location. So perfect. So here we have another one at a school. This isn't Izzy's school, but, um, I still want to support our local schools. This one's kind of messy, so I'm gonna clean it up and get some chapter books in here. All right, so definitely not amazing, but cleaner and a little bit more organized. Um, so yeah, I'll take that as a win for sure. Okay, so last stop for the day. This is at a living community. I'm gonna clean this up a little bit and leave some books as well. Yeah, so this is looking much nicer little free library cleaned up a lot more kids books put in here so feel good about that this is day three of 
putting books into little free libraries that I can't resell on Amazon or eBay or other platforms. Uh, I'm going to refill a location that I've already filled because it's low again and it's only been a week. So that kind of tells you how often these little free libraries, at least in my area, are being hit up by people. So let's throw some more kids books in there. These originally were gonna go to Goodwill because of condition and stickers and stuff like that. So I'm gonna pick through these that are in a little bit better shape and put them in this free little library. Hey guys, so it's day four of dropping off books that I can't resell at Little Free Libraries in my local area. This Little Free Library is actually at a car dealership, so I'm gonna make this quick because I don't want someone coming out asking me if I wanna buy a car. <laughs> so this one actually has a ton of adult books and pretty much that's all they have for kids books is these three little chapter books. So I'm gonna throw some kids books up top, I think. Okay, so through um, a few more adult books in there, bunch of kids books. So this looks a lot cleaner, a lot nicer. I feel good about it. Hey, Media Mail Gang, it is day five of dropping off books to little free libraries. And to end, Day five, I am going to kind of do what my baby does, Prison of Profit, and I'm going to go to Aldi, my local grocery store, grab some canned goods, some stuff that can be okay outside in the heat, and drop it off at a couple different blessing boxes that are near little free libraries in my area. And I think that's how I'm gonna wrap up the video. And hopefully this will give you guys some inspiration on what to do with your book duds and to just give back to your community in general. So this is what Izzy and I picked out to give to the blessing boxes that are near free little libraries we're gonna be donating to. There's my pile, mind your business. But here we spent $50. So this uh, free pantry is located in front of someone's house. And it's right next to a school, so I'm gonna open up some of these snacks I have here and put them in here so it's just an easy grab for each individual item for the kids. Okay, so cleaned it up a little bit, added some snacks and kind of separated them so kids could just literally walk by and grab a snack if they wanted to. Looks good. Okay, now we are going to donate um, some books. A lot of this is um, chapter books and a few picture books. So I will throw it into this little free library here, see if I can fit it all in. This little free library was, well, you guys will see, it's kind of full. So this little free library is fancy. It's got these fancy doors here. And they're pretty full, um, messy, but pretty full. So I'm gonna try and clean this up a little bit and add some more to it. All right guys, and here's the after. Um, cleaned it up a little bit, but it is just so jam packed. I added a little, but this one's pretty much good to go. Okay guys, so this is the other blessing box and it's pretty big. Um, they specifically ask for food and toiletries. You can leave other items. I'll sometimes leave books in here or some nice clothes. Just kind of depends, but as you can see, it's a little messy. I'm gonna try and clean it up a little bit and make some room for the food and some of the books that I have. So here is what I threw in. Um, I added a little bit more to some of the bottom areas too and some over there. Um, I'm going to put some toiletries over on these windowsills and call it a day. Alright guys, that's it. You have seen me over the course of five days now drop off books to little free libraries. This is what I do with my duds that don't get donated to other charities or other programs that I work with. 
and we did a little bit of food blessing boxes in honor of my Tay. So um, I hope you liked this video. I hope it encouraged you to go out and do some positive things for your community. It could be donating, it could be volunteering your time. Um, there's plenty of ways to give back. If you need any help or have any suggestions, drop a comment below and I will try and give you some ideas or you can read suggestions from others. And in the description, I'm going to put the link for some blessing boxes, a little free libraries and some other organizations that you can get on board with that are service clubs and help your community. Thanks guys. See ya.